Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. We've done just a little bit since the last episode. I got the parachute in the Mycelia upgrade uh, thing. You just need a bunch of fabric, and I think I needed some rotors. And I didn't know, I haven't played since the parachute changes, and now it like glides you down. It's like you know, Breath of the Wild glider kind of thing. And so that's going to be really handy with exploration, because now I can kind of glide over long distances. So it's a little bit closer to being like a mini jetpack, you know, where you can do a lot of gliding. And it's multi-use, it's not a one-time use, which it, it used to be. I also got more hand slots, which is really nice. Uh, one from researching the milestone for the Xenobasher, and then the other one from something. I think that's sulfur right there. Is that sulfur? No. That must be Caterium then. But over there we can see a crash site, so I'm gonna do some gliding here. And our goal on this trip is mainly to find uh, some more Mercer spheres so we can make more of the dimensional depots and maybe do an upgrade for them. But I will also take hard drives. Perfect. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Anything? Pretty, pretty much just basic resources over here. Nothing too useful. Uh, one modular frame. Already got it. So I'll take that. Nice. And then I'm supposed to alt right click. Perfect. And add a stamp. That's so handy. Andy's feet on a chicken, as my dad would say. Actually, that was more of like a grandpa thing. Maybe I explore down there? Explore over there. Can you go over there? I don't feel like I've ever been over there. Surely you can, right? It looks like an area you can go to. I just don't remember having done this before. Maybe I did and just don't remember it. That's also fairly likely. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Sweet! Good little area. It's like an island. Because, yeah, if you look at the map, it's separated. I mean, the land might connect back on the western edge there, but I don't know if it does. I don't know if it does. There's got to be hard drives and uh, Mercer Spheres here, right? Okay, well, no Mercer Sphere in distance. How about a, a Sloopy? Sloopy Whoop. Sloop to Whoop! Nothing. No slugs either. Huh. Really? There's just nothing over here of use. No sloops. No nothing. Well, I'm sure there will be some useful things as we continue to explore. Right, there's gotta be like a slug on top of that, right? Surely. Surely there is slug. Alright, I'm gonna pause the recording. We're gonna keep exploring, and as I find things, I will update you all. Alright, uh, we're back. We explored what is apparently called Paradise Island, which has literally nothing. Oh, you know what? This this is a reason to bring this, the uh, Xeno Zapper or Basher. I did not bring those. So I'm going to have to deal with large numbers of flying crabs. You know what I could do? I can make one. Make one on the fly here. Xeno Zapper. Oh, are they coming still? Or did they give up? I think they gave up. I, I literally put my Xeno Zapper away and didn't bring it because I was like, ah, what's the point? I have my gun. Uh, I found out. This is the point. 
This is the point. Anyway, all that to say, Paradise Island has nothing on it. So if we look at the map, that entire area, we explored most of it. Apparently, they increased the kill, uh, the kill border, so you can explore more of it in 1.0. But they still didn't put anything over there. Not a single slug, not a single Mercer Sphere, not a Summer Sloop, not an Ore Vein, literally nothing. Um, which I found pretty weird. So, I'm guessing they'll still add more, but samples of unknown we'll see. alien species acquired. It is unclear where on the floor or fauna spectrum it lies, but initial data suggests <laughs> this might both. be a nest or an egg. Research it's the remains in the map to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Alright, what do we got? I see a slug, so we'll go get that. Perfect. And yeah, uh, can't we? I feel like you can also uh, scan for hard drives at some point, but I don't know if I've unlocked that yet. That's an annoying placement. Almost like they did that on purpose. Um, I need some nuts. Grab the slug, get out of here. Ah, here we go. I believe oil is out there on those islands. Memory serves. Oh my, this is going to be... I might not even have what I need. This might be a more advanced one. I see heavy modular frames right there, so... We'll see if we have the... Requisite items to open. Ooh, staters. 74 of them. Take the hatcher out. Take oh, quick wire. Rubber. And a very bad enemy. That we will MLG dodge those attacks. Okay. Nice thing is. Oh, God. That's bigger. Nice thing is, he's so big. It's easy to, uh,. A hit with the shotgun. Okay, I should really have the Xeno Zapper equipped next to. Oh gosh. E. Okay, hold on. Eat some nuts. Have some more. God, imagine eating this many nuts in a row, especially that large. Like, those are not. Those are not small pieces of uh, food to eat. Okay, we got them. What do you got for me? Four? Four spitter remains? Not bad. Not bad. What's this? Motors? Ooh. Got some advanced stuff over here, ripe for the taking. More staters. Staters or staters? Oh, and it's just a freebie. Nice. I'll take a freebie hard drive. I'll take a freebie hard drive. Our inventory's getting a bit filled up here. All right, I shall pause the recording again till I see something interesting. All right, and I have unpaused, so welcome back, YouTubers. Uh, so yeah, we did some more exploring. We got another uh, slug or two, and yet another Mercer Sphere, so now we're at six on our little hunt. to fill the effigy veins for a resonance song. Scripture becomes harmony, becomes composition. Defile our temple and the threads will sew the windows open. Pattern analysis continuing. New instruction. Ooh. Repeat pioneer exposure to alien artifacts. New instruction. Brain damage compensation packages may be available on successful completion of a special claims form. Our expert fix-it medical staff are impartial and always open to assess your claim. Always open. Definitely impartial. All right, I'll grab another power slug here. Oh, and I found some more Sam ore. I think that was in between when I paused and now. And this is something Tyrium pure. So I should probably map that. Map marker. T 
Ethereum pure subcategory deposit icon like so. All right. And let's grab this power slug since it's also just waiting for me. Gosh, the parachute is a big, a big deal. Um, I keep thinking I can hit jump to cancel the parachute, and that's not how it works. You have to hit crouch. So that's why I keep... Oh, look, a hard drive. And another one over there. Uh, that's why I keep screwing that up. Oh, and there's an alpha spitter here. He doesn't see me yet. So what if... Stand on top here and snipe you where you can't get to me. Not the smartest. Not the smartest, Spitter. And I'll take four alien remains. Pretty nice. What we got? Silica, some more quick wire. Anything. Anything. Uh, what the heck is happening? I'm like in the smoke. That was weird. Uh, anything useful? Aluminum casing. There we go. That's a high tech. That's a high tech item. And circuit boards, 140? Oh my gosh. That'll allow me to do a research that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. So that's actually really cool. Sweet. Okay, now there's another one over there. I'm not sure if we can glide that far is the problem. So part of me wants to just head home. Part of me wants to try to go over there. Maybe if I go back this direction first, I can get some more elevation up here, yeah. I can make it to this little point and walk up the hill. I have the gas masks. I'm also running out of uh, rebar. I've only got 22 shots left. I will say the shatter rebar is pretty incredible for damage. Oh, a watchtower for elevation? That would have been an idea. Oh, okay. We just got the physics boost off the, the angle there. Oh, Jesus. There's two of them? Oh, God. And they're poison ones? All right. You know, we're noping out of there. We don't need the hard drive that bad. Oh, we can just get him to jump off the edge. Perfect. Aha. <laughs> Never mind. We're fine. Uh, let me clear some inventory space real quick. I don't need that concrete. I don't need four biomass. I don't need uh, 129 quick wire. And I don't need two stacks of cables. And I don't need that many iron plates nor poles. Okay. Heavy modular frames, great. Fused modular frames, really great. I don't really need quartz crystals, but I already have those. Uh, anything else? Computers? Oh my gosh. We could also get a lot of awesome points for those if I'm not going to need them for anything else. And more aluminum casings? 300 megawatts. That's unfortunate. That's going to be enough that we'll have to just make a marker. That marker. Um, call it just pod. 800 megawatts. Okay, so we'll have to come back with a power connection at some point. For now, I think we're gonna mosey on back to base, so I'll pause the YouTube recording until we get back. All right, YouTubians, we're back. Um, we got a lot of good stuff on that trip. We got seven Mercer Spheres, and you know, the circuit boards that I got from one of those drop pods means I'll be able to research uh, something in the Caterium world. What was it? No. None of those. Those are high-speed connectors. Uh, what was it? Oh, it was this. 
I can research production amplifier now because I found those 50 circuit boards. So if I just make a hundred of those things, I think we can get amplification. And I can also upgrade, I could do stack increase for depots. I could do manual depot uploader, or I could do upload speed. I think probably the best one to start with is the expansion rather than the speed because, you know, things build up over time and the rate is less important. But the question is, do I want to spend three of my hard earned Mercer spheres on that? I don't know. And let me grab my modular frames here because I would like to um, Get purple power slugs processed as well. So yeah, I've definitely focused a little bit on the exploration aspects on this run, more so than I maybe normally would. Um, I would like to still get more hard drives. It's just very nice to get all that. I also set this up, I think, when I wasn't recording, but now I have proper sheets automated, just so I don't have to manually craft those, which is nice. So, yeah. First order of business is the purple power slug. Research. I think. What's this? Oh, synthetic power Research shards, completed. right. Purple power slugs Time seem crystals. to be near the end of their life cycle and have a significant amount of potential energy stored. It is a good thing fix it does not waste. Purple power slugs can now be processed into power shards. Okay. And the crystal oscillator lets us unlock the radar. That's the one. Research we want. completed. Crystal Radio oscillator recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. Okay, so I need motors before we can do scanning for hard drives. So that's one that I knew existed and was wondering when we would get. Um, nothing else there. Caterium. Um, I could unlock AI limiters, but that's not really something we need right now. But yeah, let's... I don't have enough computers, otherwise we could have also done the power augmenter. I don't think we could have built it, but... Um, yeah, let me get some more SAM fluctuators crafted here. I might need to do another SAM ore trip. We'll see. I do have a decent amount still. But yeah, I'll pause the recording while I do the handcrafting. Welcome back. We have run out of Sam ore, so I'm not going to be able to do the augmentation quite yet. So let's go fetch some more Sam. I don't think I need to worry about crystal oscillators unless I want to make the Explorer, which is a little truck. Uh, so while our hard drives research, we're going to go get some more Sam because I want a production amplifier upgrade. And I think we might, whereas with the other upgrades, like the, the one that requires the computer, I think we would need computers to build the building. That gives us, what's it called? The power augmenter? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, where's the Sam ore? I, I should have marked it on the map. It's over there somewhere. I guess I can go towards the poison cave. We know it's there. Um, so, you know, the power augmenters, we probably can't make them yet, but I think with the, like the power network augmenters, I mean, where you like install the summer's loop and it gives you 500 megawatts and stuff and makes everything produce more power. But I think with the production amplifier, once we've researched it, I think we just stick a summer sloop in any old building and it works. So I'm hoping that with this unlocked, we will actually be able to get some free stuff from a earlier, earlier stage of the game than you normally would be able to. And that's pretty satisfying. Now I know you can get into the cave. I remember looking up and there was a hole. So I'm wondering if we can drop into the cave from like up here or something. Um, maybe. There's a slug up here, I guess. 
But yeah, where, where was that opening? Hmm. I'll have to uh, mark it on the map, I think. For now, we'll just go back to the cave entrance. Which, I bet we could blow that open and that would be another way to get in. But for now, we need to go over here first. Grab some pale berries on the way. You can never have too many pale berries. They're literally twice as good as the barrel nuts. So I would say that's a lot, a lot better. And it looks like the stingers are back. The respawn time has elapsed. But if I just float, they might not be able to attack me. So yeah, there, you can see the ceiling of that would be blown open. If we had the nobilisks. Oh, I was wondering if you could shoot these little things and they would pop like balloons, because that's kind of what it looks like they would do. Alright, that means the big spider's gonna be back too, I think. Wasn't there a big one in here? Somewhere? Sure looks like it. Oh boy. Ah! Stay back. Gosh, they're so fast. Disturbingly fast. The uh, Blade Runners help. And them getting stuck on your uh, miners also helps, I will say. Okay, grab the Sam or. Go home. Is this gonna be enough, by the way? Because I know I needed a hundred of the fluctuators, and each fluct each of these is gonna be four. So yeah, I might want to wait around here another minute. Um, okay, so let's mark this on the map. The hole to get down to the Sam Ore is here. Oh, interesting. Let's stand directly underneath it. Directly underneath the arch. A new map marker there. It's actually... Oh, it's way closer. Hole for Sam. The icon can be a down arrow. Okay. So that way we can get back in a little more easily. And we can get out a little more easily if I can manage to build... Foundation up there. Power pole. Down to here. There we go. And this should get us enough. just have a regular miner going into the storage container and that would maybe be a little more effective than this, but we'll do that next time. I still don't have power over here, so that's a good Is this enough? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18. I have more than 20 stacks. That should be enough, I hope. Um, this goes straight through a rock. Is that going to pull me off of the wire? it is. That's obnoxious. Okay. Ah! Okay. Let's not do that there. We get hit by a rock. There we go. Beat me up, Scotty. This is really far down. I don't think I realized just how far down it was. So we need another foundation up there. The good news 
is we're like really close to the base. Wow. So the Sam Ore, once I just bring it up on elevators, is not very far from our base at all. I didn't realize how close that was. That's awesome. It's like right here. It's closer than my next copper node, probably. That's incredible. All right, so I'm gonna pause the YouTube recording again because we're gonna do some handcrafting to get those fluctuators. All right, we're back, YouTube. Uh, I did get another one of these done. Hard drive is what it's called. Uh, what did we get? We got limestone to iron ingots. So that's made in the foundry at 50 a minute. That's kind of slow. I like my foundries to be twice as fast. So 60 a minute would be twice as fast. Um, but it allows you to basically substitute some limestone for iron. No, nothing fancy going on there. Um, you know, that's not too crazy. But we have our 100 SAM fluctuators, so now I can hop over and research. Oh, I need the, the summer sloop, and I need the 50 circuit boards. So, summer sloop. Do I only have two? Oh, because I researched one or two already. I, I certainly have collected more than two. Uh, and then I need the circuit boards, which are in here. That's fine. And here we go. <gasps> Production amplifier. Production Can amplifier unlocked. It? Every single manufacturing and smelting building will be backwards compatible with this new technology. Uh huh. These buildings can now have a summer sloop embedded to increase resource output without requiring more input, at the cost of greatly increased power consumption. Productivity modules, baby. Flow cycles within flow cycles make explosions into temples and explosions into temples. No, I need two. Windows. Each tiny body contains tinier bodies until the line layers fold into curves, which folds into threads, which weave the tapestry. Mm. A song of light and leaf and flower, a dance of matter clouds, and... I think they're trying to explain energy to matter conversion theory, but you do not need to understand it to do your job. Wait. I'll just mute them for you so you can continue your mission. I, Ada however, can hear them? will be taking notes. This is fascinating material. I thought Ada was talking about me hearing voices inside my head. Okay, so apparently you can do s two summer sloops. Is that for every building you need two to double it, or is that just an assembly thing? Oh, interesting. So the buildings are different in how they can handle. So a constructor can only do one summer sloop and that doubles it. Okay, but an assembler needs two summer sloops to double it. I wonder if a manufacturer needs four or three. And then my next question is, does that mean we want to do it like this? Yeah. So it's going to take way more power though. So how much power does it take? <laughs> so 50.4 megawatts. Like that. I guess the clock speed can only be 200%. So I can take out a shard here. So then... Basically, I want to do the work now. I just want to turn that one off. I'm gonna do all the work in one assembler so that my summer sloop can get me 50% more. Whereas if I had both running, I could only do one. You guys get what I'm saying. My summer sloops are more effective if I put them in the one that's already going faster. But the question then is how much extra power does that end up costing? Because it was 37.5 and now it's gonna be, you have to fin wait for it to finish. Eighty-four, jeez. More than double. That's a lot. Sweet! Okay, so we have production amplification on our modular frames. So now rather than getting four a minute, I get six a minute. All for the price of some power. Oh, whoa! That's so cool! There's like purple smoke coming out of the building because it's amplified. Oh, I need to get a screenshot of that. That's really neat. Gotta 
get a good angle, though. And you can see the little purple on the, uh, what's that called? Power cable. Cool. All right, so finding more summer sloops is going to be a big deal. And I think the next big thing I would like to do is work towards steel and coal power. So let me put away all the SAM related stuff. I've got another uh, purple, or not purple, yellow slug we can turn into couple power shards here. Power shards are mostly going to be used for mining. Uh, I've got 15 of them, so if we need a little bit more ore, I'll probably just use power shards to start. And we'll also need more power just in general soon. I'm surprised everything's still running after I beefed up that... that uh, what are we at now? Oh, I'm just at the limit. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're very close to, to needing more power. So, coal power. Let's work towards that. Uh, I should already have everything we need. I just need to go fetch it. We already have the rips. Just need to take them out of the... Dimensional portal. Or whatever it's called. Dimensional outpost? Dimensional... Dimensional depot. Someday I'll remember those those letters. And there goes the power. Boom goes the power dynamite. Um, that's actually quite bad. I think we can still handle a couple more. How many do I have here? I have 12. Okay. Yeah, so I can still handle three more of the biomass burners before I'm not producing biomass quickly enough. I'm gonna break with my tradition here and just connect those because I'm lazy. And push straight out there. Splitter. Connect. That one's backwards. All right, and then I need to feed you some biofuel, feed you some biofuel. I think that'll be good enough. Just barely, oof. That, if that black line was a little higher, it would it would have immediately shut off again. Um, I think we just barely got enough. And yeah, we're already out of biomass, which I collected earlier, so it's time for coal power. Because I did a pretty big chainsaw run, and it did not last all that long. So we're going to have to do some more chainsawing here. Otherwise, I'm going to run out. So I will be back in a minute. And we're back. So I got myself... Wow, that's a lot of leaves. And about a thousand wood. And that should last a little bit. I am going to take some for my own handcrafting of the biofuel. Because our power went out again, I think some of the uh, whatchamacallits don't have don't have biofuel in them. So we'll craft just enough to get everything spun up again. But yeah, we really need coal power ASAP so that we don't have to be chopping trees. Biofuel has run its course. Trying to power this much with just biofuel requires too much chainsawing for my taste. We have reached the limit. So, I will get, I don't know, 70? Hopefully that'll be enough to get everything running again. I could also underclock some stuff. Um, you know, like this is a good example of a machine that can be underclocked. I could never use 300 a minute. 120 a minute is the most I can use out of here. So we might as well save a few megawarts um that one only has 12 that one only has 13 this is bad um this is really bad actually which ones then are empty or are none of them empty uh oh that's bad too because now that means i just need more 
Oh, jeez. Uh, I can't even run more. And... Yeah, I may need to go back to underclocking that, uh... The assembler. That, that one assembler is taking too much. I don't think I'm quite ready for the power cost. Of, uh, using summer sloops. I don't think I'm quite ready for that. Oh no, that's not even enough. Okay. So this is gonna be the emergency one. Once things are running, we should be able to not use this one anymore. Yeah. Things are, it always takes more power and then things kind of settle down into a, a more normal curve. So I should be able to take everything out of this one now. But yeah, the problem is we're not going to see biofuel on these later ones for a while. Um, like, for a long while. And that only has 9 in it. That one has 11 need these last four with some extra. That one gets seven more, that one gets six more, and this final one will get 13 more. Hopefully that lasts long enough. We'll see. Lasts long enough to get coal power. I really need to check on this more often and keep it running. All right, so now we need to work on actually getting the coal power milestone finished here. Let me grab more rips, and we've got the cables, so we can throw all this in here. A chunk. Milestone reached. Power production can now be fully automated by burning coal, which has been added to the resource scanner. Water is also necessary to run the coal-powered generator uh -huh. and will require a network of pipelines to be transported from a water source. To assist with locating and identifying water, Fixit has compiled this guide. Water is a somewhat reflective liquid and it may have thick oh, vegetation thanks. growing nearby. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is try probably water. Alright. So we're going to head over to the nearest coal patch, I think. Is there water anywhere near that one? No. There's not. Um, it almost feels worth going over there because of how much water is right next to it. Okay, let me scan again. You need water and coal anyway. So like that one, that'll be useful to bring back to the base. This one, I don't know if that's enough water or not. I'm gonna try that one. And we're gonna see if there's enough water. Also, do I have what I need to build water extractors? I do, okay. And do I have enough what I need to build coal generators? A couple. Even just one or two will be a huge boost. So, we need to get those running ASAP. I already forgot where we are and where we're going. Oh, I need to go way more east. Okay, that one. And I know they moved some nodes. I don't remember. I know one of the nodes in this grassy plains area is like on top of a rock. Um, but they might have moved that one, and I don't know where that one is. I felt like the one on top of a rock was more like in this area. Clearly that's not true. Maybe it is the one I'm going for. Oh, I think it is. I think it's on top of that rock. Yep, that's the one I remember. The very first coal node I ever tapped into was this coal node. I remember it like it was yesterday. Okay, is this water big enough for a water extractor? I can't really tell by looking at the map. Um, maybe. No. 
Yes. Just barely. That oh. may indeed be water. Try submerging your arm. If it does not dissolve, that will narrow down the range of possibilities. Or Thanks. you could just pipe it to a coal-powered generator and see what happens. Um, I hear a sloop or a sphere, but I don't see it. Get rid of this guy first. Well, that was close. Uh, let's see. What do I hear? Mercer sphere is like... Oh, it's in the water? Oh, it's in the water. Listen to the river. Well, she told me to put my arm in the water and see if it dissolves, so... Alright, my arm is not dissolved. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Um, crap. I don't think I have enough pipe for this. Fix it pipelines can contain any fluid, including the water necessary for coal powered generators. Note water does not flow upwards by itself. While water extractors provide some lift, to truly defy gravity, consider the use of pipeline pumps. Truly defy gravity. Don't worry, we will, we will do that soon enough. Alright, I just need power. ASAP. So, we're gonna get that going. Full power plant. Good gravy, I forgot how big they are. I forgot how fat Interesting. You guys are. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood their Rude. responsibility to humanity. Adjusting pioneer attitude metrics. Reminder so coal powered generators require coal. Ada is sassy. Alright, miner. I'm gonna need an equipment void shop. Okay. Production. Miner mark one. Alright, power that up. What kind of. It is a pure node, so I should build with mark two belt here. to lift. Okay. So, splitter. Now, there is a bug that's going on right now that will cause this to back up, I believe, um, but bug is probably fixed by the time you guys are seeing this video, I would guess. It'll probably be fixed by the end of today, even. This is just day two of the game being out. Uh, but apparently the the coal can back up and whatnot, so that's kind of a big problem. Um, yeah. I'm hoping... Um, I'm hoping that... And where's the power connection on these? It's on the back. That the head lift of the water pump is enough for uh, for this. And then we'll get this connected back up to the main base. I'll need to feed some more biofuel. I might just make some biomass out of hogs. I've got plenty of alien remains that I can use. Dot the landscape with power. And we're gonna get some coal power going. There we go. Oh no, that one was just used to get to the top. Alright, we 
we did it. Okay. No, ah! Too many, too many hotkeys. Now I need to go start back up the power. Potentially feed it some biomass. We did just kill a spitter, so I should be able to make... Yeah. Three alien protein makes us 300 biomass. And let's just use that to get things started again. Because these early ones get all the bio fuel. So those have nine. This one is probably the one that turned off. Or one of the ones that turned off. I guess it still has some. That's the one that turned off. And this one. And that one. I don't have fuel for. But that one was starting to get some biofuel. I think. I put 75 in this one. Okay, where what was it? This one? Mm, yeah, two bio. Instead, I'll give you 25. That should be enough. That should be enough for these two to make it long enough. Fingers crossed. And then with any amount of luck, our coal power plant will add the 75 megawatts that will help kind of relieve some of the pressure. And let me grab, what do I need for pumps? Um, I already have what I need. Let me grab some more copper sheets. And then do I have enough to build like another two or three of these? I do, yeah, okay. I just wanna make sure we can build a medium-sized coal plant to start. For now, it's just supplementing. Of course, we will overclock that node once we have faster belts, so we can make sure to have, you know, from a pure node with a Mark One miner, we can get up to 300 coal per second, or sorry, per minute. 300 coal a second would be insane. We cannot get that much. Um, and where am I going? I guess over there. I should probably put a little icon on the map. I remember where to run to. And I haven't built any launchers yet. Um, because I normally wait till jetpack for that, but I just realized I can build launchers and use the, uh, jet, not jetpack, uh, what's it called? The, this thing, parachute, um, to help me glide longer distances. Now, what I don't know is if you're going fast, does the jetpack, jetpack, I'm calling it a jetpack now, does the glider parachute thing, uh, does it slow you down? I think it does. Like right there, it felt like it slowed us down to be going slower than the speed I was currently flying through the air. It'll be easier to test with a Mark II belt. Maybe we'll try that in a second. Uh, in which case, it might not be worth that much because we could just run along the ground faster. So. All right, no fuel. So this is the error that we were talking about. Um, Having coal in your inventory seems to fix it. There's no water in the building. Because we didn't hook this up to power. Um, oh, I hate when they do that. I kind of wish buildings had two different, again, this is such a, like, what if they had two different places power lines could connect and it automatically picked the one that, like, didn't clip through the building or clip through the building the least. I know that would be impossible to measure. I understand why it's not a thing. <laughs> I just keep, here, uh, let me build another biomass burner and put some leaves in it. Uh, here, I need more than six leaves. 
We just need to support this thing long enough. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Alright, how about two of them? Yeah, we'll chainsaw a tree. This is, so, this is so bad. Oh, I'm out of biofuel to run the chainsaw. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're really, we're really doing it. Living the dream, y'all. Okay. Oh my god, really? Really? Hmm. Okay, let me get rid of you. We're gonna make this work, don't worry. Okay, there's some biomass. All I need is a crafting bench. And a few moments of time. Okay, so there's biomass. Now, I place another couple of these. Let me hook these up. And then we split that four ways. We each get 25 biomass. These will run for two and a half minutes. Turned on. Okay. And those should help everything else run. Okay, we've got water. This is not filling up at all yet. Does it talk about head lift here? No. I guess we'll just find out. It does fill up the bottom pipes first, though. That one has some in it. Perfect. Is this running? No power. I think it's... It has no water. Okay. Hmm... There we go. There we go. Yay! First coal power plant. All right, we will obviously expand. I probably won't leave the coal power plant here. I just needed to get something running because the biofuel power was becoming a problem. Um, okay, so one power plant uses... 45 water and 15 coal a minute. One water extract. Why 45? That feels rude. Just, aren't these exactly 120? Yeah. <laughs> so, so you can't quite run three coal generators off of one of these. You can run two and most of a third. Um, so unfortunately, this is such a small water area. I might end up using power shards here uh, to get more. Because with power shards, I could run like seven or eight full power plants with just one water pump. I might do it that way. But uh, yeah, I gotta call this a YouTube episode. Slightly shorter than my normal hour and 10 minutes, but that's probably a good thing. But. Uh, but yeah, we've got our first coal running. We'll see if uh, they come out with the patch soon so I don't have to babysit these. But I think the fix, if it's not burning the fuel anymore, is to uh, have coal in your inventory and then you make a manual save and then you load the game and you don't open the configuration menu and it, they should work properly. Uh, so if you're encountering that bug still when this video comes out, which you probably shouldn't be, then that's how you fix it. But uh, yeah. I'm going to be done with this episode. I guess we should get a nice little shot of our coal power plant in the moonlight. But uh, as always, no, the power went out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.